Boom. So, I am extremely green. This is my first playthrough. So this is a green playthrough, if you will. Um, I am streaming now at 1080p, 60 FPS. Yeah, crisp. Figured I'd play The Wild at Heart. Looks like a beautiful pixel art type game. I really don't have too much information about it other than it seems very chill. Uh, it is a newer game. I think it's actually on Game Pass, so I think that's one of the reasons I decided to jump into it. Something with a little bit of a, a change here. So, yeah, let's get into this. Let's see how this is going to be here. So we have The Wild at Heart. I set up the uh, settings already. We have I have no clue where I'm going to be, if I'm going to float here in the corner, or if I'm going to end up maybe on one of the other sides. So let's get started here. It looks like it's going to be a fun game. I think we should maybe start with a new game. Is that me? Three o'clock. Wake up. You prepared for this? Time to enact the plan. Just need to gather my supplies around the room. So that is Jake. Jake from State Farm. Ooh. Well, that's really cool. I like unique games here. So, so far, uh, it looks like B is kick. I'm playing on the Xbox, so B seems to be a kick type move. All right. We got cool aesthetics here. I can talk to the fish. Don't worry, little dude. Someone will take care of you when I'm gone. His name is Wake, not Jake. Wake and Jake. What's this? Plans. Let's see what this does. A stack of papers containing various sketches and blueprints, including something entitled Experimental Codename Zol. I might as well bring these other blueprints, too. Wouldn't want them falling into the wrong hands. Kirby and I had some pretty fun, pretty epic cart races around this TV. Too big to take with us, though. What if we just never leave this room? I bet there's a, some kind of... Alright, here here's a gaming system. Some kind of Easter egg where if you just stay in the room, they, they your mother comes down and kicks you out. Gaming system. Hop into your favorite games with a game bun entertainment system. Like I go anywhere th without my games. Priorities... I wish I could take some blockos with me. Some of the best ideas started out with these little guys. More blueprints. Makeshift map. A map of the woods behind Wake's house. Perfect for escaping into them. Definitely to scale. My very detailed map of the forest, complete with landmarks. I'd be super lost without this. Okay, I've got everything from down here. Time to head upstairs. So that's just a bed, VHS tapes, pretty much Legos, beanbag, pizza, soda, the vampire kids, I want to leave UFO, a little skateboard, let's go up. Someone's gone. I made some field rations this morning before he left, I just need to grab them. Oh no. Who's he? Guessing the field rations would be... I was supposed to wash the dishes. Oh well, no time now. It's too bad. Something near the refrigerator here? Rations. All the sustenance needed for an extended secret mission. Homemade PB&J. Can't go wrong with PB&J. These should last a while. So I guess PB&J is... Your heel. This is, this is him moving, not me. I'm living, not that you care. Don't come looking for me. Wake. Who's he leaving? Who's he leaving? He probably won't read it anyways. More VHS. Here we go. Oh! Chomp's cheesy 
chippers. Delicious, crunchy goodness. Guaranteed cheese fingers after every bag. I'll bring them along. Might be handy in a pinch. We got some lore going on here. What's in the bathroom? Of course, if you weren't able to flush the toilet, I'd immediately close out of the game. You need to be able to flush the toilet. The music's kind of awesome. Where are we going? Just outside in general. Gustbuster. Wake self-constructed vacuum. Useful sucking up calls all kinds of things. Can I grab these? Or do they... They just move. Alright, so we got little... Um, washers and nuts. It looks like. Yep, it's a little bolts and nuts. Nuts and bolts. There's a pile of leaves, too. What's this? Little keys. Backyard key. Oh, so I had to search for the key to get in. Okay. We got trash. We can kick trash. Oh, yeah. Is there a counter somewhere? From the top right shows the counter. Made myself a little smaller. Bring the chat box up to here. Shadow. Little Shadow must have been his his pupper. Here's another trash bag. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's use it. Uh oh. Well, Kirby and I have planned for this for months. She'll know what to do. I just hope she's able to make it out okay. So Kirby must be a friend. Check both ways and let's get out of here. Time to get the heck out of here. Here we go. And so we start the adventure. And we start with an achievement. The adventure begins, see? what I say? It's like I know what's gonna happen. Be wandering off here. The sound of the rain and the thunder. It's relaxing. Wild at heart. Did I beat it? Is that it? Did I win? Oh no. Why is Wake sad? Oh, we're lost. How's Kirby gonna find me now? We'll figure it out. Who's there? What are these things? Jason. Did it have a name? I didn't see it. I don't want to miss too much. Look at this. I want to keep that. Where are you going? Don't go through that fence yet. Alright, I think you have to collect the nuts and bolts and use your vacuum to spin that to open the gate. Stay down. Yep. How do I get up there? I want that stuff. Camper, I thought maybe you could bring the tree down. Or you just walk around, you know. Don't overcomplicate things. Is that a toolbox? 
I'm over a hundred nuts and bolts here. That opens up the top gate, lets me through to that creature. More nuts and bolts down here. Love the aesthetics of this, this is beautiful. So far I can kick and vacuum. Again. It's a checkpoint or a save point. Look at that tree! Look at that tree! Sheesh! It is really cute. How does it look? Does it look clean? Going in. Do it. Hope that little dude isn't just getting me more lost. He's here to help. No, they aren't deer. Ooh. Did I fall down a hole? I did. I fell pretty hard. Oof. What a fall. Where am I? Old Weirdo, the guy's name is. Old Weirdo. So, she let you in after all. Interesting. She was debating for quite some time. Who are you? My folk here call me Greycoat. Old Weirdo is Greycoat. You have entered the deep woods. Few are allowed here, probably. Greycoat? That's your name? I think so. There you go. Now he's gray coat. Wait, okay, but your coat is more of a, like a greenish brown. Look at that arm. Is that a wooden arm? I think that's a wooden arm right there. This is a different coat, and who are you? Wait. What an oddly pleasant name. Probably. There's a little dude. That's a she. Brussel. You know good and well that you're not supposed to leave the deep woods. Hey, Moochie, how does the... Can you hear the background okay? Can you hear the sound of the background all right? It's not every day that a Spriteling befriends an outsider. Spritelings. That you can see them in a feat in itself, probably. You're a strangely small and uncle old man. Are you ill? You should tell me if you are. Not an old man? What does he usually bring old men? Russell tell me they found you crying. Why? I, I wasn't. So what? It's rude to sneak up on people. What even is that creature? Unwrinkled one? We have time for questions, probably. I must hasten to my people. There is so much stuff to get done. Besides the dark will com coming up, and it is what that we always say about the dark, hmm? Who's we? I just met you. <laughs> Incorrect. We say the dark is bad. The dark is bad. Good, okay. Let me be your first lesson. Take this. It's an item most essential to people in my order. Behold, I give you shiny rock. Shiny rock, please. A fragment of fallen star. Shiny rock can create projections of those who carry pieces of the star. Press left, up, down, right to talk to your green shield companions. It's a crystal. We call it a shiny rock. Shiny Rock will guide you, probably. Guide me where? Nature! Take me to the, um, the place, the, uh, foliage. The grove, that's it. I almost forgot what our village was called. That would have been embarrassing. Bye bye This guy sounds like me. I can't remember a thing. Uh, I think the springlings or saplings. We have to find Kirby. Anything secret back here? There's always secrets. Can I pick up this lantern? Alright, let's go up. Easy. Wake, wake, can you hear me? The crystal's talking, it's gray coat. 
Shiny Rock allows communication between all wearers. Does it feel, always feel this weird? You will eventually become used to the side effects of the Mind Link. Probably. Wake. There's a fellow of mine up ahead, a member of our order. His name is Scrap Heap. Scrap Heap, your friend's name is Scrap Heap. Indeed. He will help you, probably. And through traversing the undergrowth may seem daunting, the Spritelings are often keen to help. Little yellow guys. Quite so. They are den denizens of this world, and I dare, I say, a part of the deep woods itself. Use them for guidance. They'll know what to do. Probably. With your device and their aid, you should easily be able to make it to the scrap heap. Right? How do I contact you? I usually just picture this person in my head and then scream their name in the crystal. That seems to work most of the time. No time to waste. Onward. Remember to use the vacuum. Two for one. Oh, hey there. Hiding in a leaf pile, huh? Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Well, you're welcome to join me. The gray coat guy said you might be able to help me get out of here. I don't do voices like Fab does. Okay, so they're twiglings. They're spritelings or twiglings. These curious little creatures can pick up resources, break down walls, attack enemies, and much more. All they need is a little direction. Just throw them at the desired target and they'll get going. Twiglings are fast workers and immune to toxic gas. It's also rumored they can make things grow, but no one's seen a diamond in quite some time. So we use X. So you can just... Oh, thanks. So I already have it in my inventory, and literally I just kick. Okay, what happened? Oh, oh, okay. My bad. Thank you. So it, those hurt. And you lose, like, you're like Sonic. You end up losing your, your coinage. I wonder how you get hearts back. All right. Poison mushroom, no good. I'm guessing to get the desired health back. Okay, I can just use that to suck that up. Okay. To get your health back, you probably need to use your uh, food that you got. Or, here's the save point. Dust yourself off. That was easy. Alright, we got a map, too. So far, I haven't missed anything. Pretty straightforward. Oh, wait, there's something in the bottom left. Bottom left. Herd and wayward. One and zero. Herd and wayward. Not really sure what that means yet. I'm sure I'll figure that one out. He can take that a stump. <laughs> I'm trying to help. It doesn't do anything. Let's see what's in the stump. Nuts and bolts. Gray coat. Wake up, scrap heap. Should be just beyond that huge boulder. The twiglings mentioned uh, must have moved it. Well, they can move it back. You can direct the spritelings to move heavy objects but you'll need a fair few amount of them to do it. Explore the undergrowth and gather more sprite things. I wonder if I can get him to help take this bag out. There's the boulder. I need three sprite things. Oh, almost did that again. Pop, pop, pop. Another toolbox. Oh, there's some more. Alright, let's chuck you up there. Take it out. Get a pile of trash. Can you do a sound check for me, Moochie? 
Are you still there? So that gives me two. Okay, you just have to walk up to them. Wonder if anything goes in these live pools. Hello there, anyone home? Nothing. Can I throw? No. Let's see what we got. Ooh, these are huge crystals. Can I get beyond this? Nope, they don't do anything. Are these... Get them. And I helped. Alright, we got six orbs now. Oh, no, did I get him stuck? We're okay. I'll get you in a second. We're taking in a log. Alright, it sounds good. Gray coat. Aha! Did you see the Spritelings reappear just now? Your bond with them is developing quite quickly, probably. It has been observed in special cases. If Spritelings find themselves trapped, it may provoke a transaction, translocation like event, magically warping them back to you. To fix any bug, issue, bug issues, let's not lie. That is, they choose to cooperate, quite independent creatures, when they want to be. Fascinating. Oh. I'm just running up and kicking out. I actually don't know if it's doing any damage. That's all three I need. So I can throw one at a time. I almost forgot about this one here. I wonder what you do in these nuts and bolts. Alright, let's see. More of this. Random, you know, attribute to have in this vacuum here. Saving it. I think I can, can I throw them at this thing? No. All right, let's do it. So I need three. Thank you. Let's go. Trying to find my way out of here. Uh, more trash? I'm not doing any damage. It's a lot of trash. I know I can do something to this log. Did I like, lose him permanently? I'll get down there. Did I forget anything over here? Just the trash. I have to get away from being a perfectionist with everything. Two heartlands and the grove. Can I throw them up there? Hey! Okay, so they can open up toolboxes from far away. What's this? A little bit of stuff, okay. Finding all the little secrets. Alright, I have to find something to lower the gate. Pull it down this way.
Hmm. Missing something. I'm probably not missing much. Probably something small I have to do. I a little sapling got stuck down there. Okay, let's try that again. What am I missing? I'm actually stuck right at the beginning of the game. Um, there is a... A gate that you usually have to use... You have to, like, turn a turbine to close it or open it. And there's this tree over here that wants to fall. And these saplings you can kind of throw. But there's a barrier here and they can't get over it. Yeah. And I'm at a loss already. you think this vacuum would pull it down. And L does nothing. What are these? Deliver stash, drop, separate. I'm not sure what to do. How can I be stuck in the first five minutes of the game? There's more bolts. Okay. Oh, there's a bridge. I just hopped down. I can get my other sapling, too. Where am I that there's just arcade equipment? Alright, let me save it before I answer the phone. I get my other sapling. I should have three now. Okay. Loose parts, an assorted mix of nails, nuts, bolts, and scrap metals. Crafting stuff and repairing structures. How come I didn't see that windmill before? You just kick the crap out of bags. This is on, um... Yes, Game Pass. That's what it looks like in Stream Elements. Bring. Thank you. How do I get him to put that down? He's just gonna carry that? Oh, LB. Drop items, deliver stash. Where's he going? Drop items. Oh, it's my stash. Okay. Right, I guess I didn't answer the phone. Stop right there. User's name is Wake. Oh, it's a teapot guy. Tea kettle weirdo. Get away from my trove of riches. How come you upon this hollowed meadow, oh tiny unwrinkled man? I'm not an old man, I'm 12. 12 is a number, numbers cannot be people. I'm trying to find someone scrap heap. This has to be scrap heap. Look at him being a pile of junk. Great coat gave me this crystal, and these little yellow guys helped me move the big rock. I literally started this all over 15 minutes ago. It's pretty cool. It's chill. It's a difference between Bioshock and this. It's pretty insane. But they, it's beautiful. Whoa, my hand looks huge when I do that. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like 3D. Um... Crystal, you say? So it's true then. Greycoat said he found a potential new recruit. Oh, jeez. I'm being brought into a cult. I am Scrap Heap, Master Builder and Tinkerer for the Green Shield Order of the Deep Woods. Oh, I'm Wake. I'm something of a builder myself. Wake, you say? That doesn't sound like it should be a name. How intriguing. Do you know where I am and where I can find Greycoat? Indeed, however... Hmm, yes, yes, safe. At the camp, indeed. Who are you talking to? Is that Greycoat? Brussels said that? Ha, huh, how droll. Yes, yes, tomorrow would be best, I agree. Ta. Hmm, <clears throat> apprentice. The daylight falls. We will not make it to the next camp in time. We must stay here through the night. Rest now if you can. I'll keep watch most vigilant. It just boom, dark like that? Or am I gonna rest? Ooh, it's dark. Why do you not rest? Is there something you don't mind? What's a green shield? 
Protectors and stewards of the deep woods. We protect the various creatures that dwell here, as well as mend the border to your world as needed. Hmm. But you can use, like, magic and stuff? Why, of course, can't you? Not that I know of. I'd wager you're more capable than you think. Okay, so there's going to be magic in this game. I hope I can get spells. But of course, as all skills, some individuals are quite more adept than others. Greycoat, for example, is likely to be the most capable among us. Although he's never quite the same since he lost the other other coat. <laughs> Scrap Heap. What's your real name? Scrap Heap is my name. No, I mean, what's the name before you? Scrap Heap. Never had another name. That's all I call your call. I've always been Scrap Heap. And Greycoat? Greycoat's always been Greycoat. All right. Rest now, apprentice. We rise at dawn. There's much to do. You want a PB and J? I could really go for a snack. PB and come here. Get in on this. I'm starving. He's giving him a PB and J, a jelly confection. Why? It it really seemed like you guys are sharing a single sandwich. Not a good idea. You should probably keep it for yourself, as uh. You're lost in the woods with a bunch of randoms. Probably a good idea not to be sharing all your food right away. Just saying. I don't know if you agree, but you should. Oh. I had hit A. It's not me moving. Oh, now it is. Follow the dots. Just a bottle. Uh oh, is that... Am I asleep this entire time? That's why I'm called Wake Wake Up. Dad? Uh... It's a bird, it's a plane, it's... Wake! Slept in a pile of leaves while... Trash heap watched. Five cent tea kettle on his head and a candle. Good morning, Master Wake. How was your slumber? I had some weird dreams. Worry, we are all we all have them here. Dreams are strange things, of course, leading odd and confounding lives. You become used to them eventually. Oh, and I must beg your pardon. I couldn't help but notice your device. It's my newest invention. What do you think? I think you're quite the genius. However, we may be able to enhance it if you care, that is. I've already had some plans I've been working on. Where do we start? Near this camp, there should be an ample material, quite literally just laying around. If you bring, uh, if you bring it to me, say five loose parts and 200 scrap, I believe I could augment the device in no time. And why don't you also hand me some of the plans of yours? I shall incorporate them. So I'm gonna give him his plans. He's like, that makes sense. That's what I'm doing this for. So I need. Let me pull the loose parts out. And then can I throw you across to get those? Alright, I have to have them drop. Okay. Oh, there's more up there. Uh oh, he's stuck. Oh no. I glitched him out. I glitched him out. He's stuck. I broke the game. Little dude just stuck there. I guess I already told him to stash. That's... Alright. I have what I need. Alright, uh, I need a 1 in 200. I have everything I need. Buying it. Let's go. Wake self construction vacuum, new augmented by scrap heap for added strength. Use lower power to collect small things. Recall idle spritelings. And affect lightweight obstacles. Use high power to st stuck on heavy objects like resources and sprite things. 
and to pull down trickier obstacles. There we are, once a handsome gust buster. Way more powerful. All in a day's work. Now I must secure a payload from last eve. If the sprightlings haven't scattered across the woods, that is. I will move on to the next area, where my camp paper proper awaits. I thought this was your camp. I have set up several stations throughout the deep woods to able to craft as well as safely avoid the night. During your time here, you may well have to do the same, tiny one, but worry not, the woods are high, are nigh harmless under the sun's pleasant blaze. Just don't mistake a gumblop's placid counter, uh, countenance for kindness. Ta for now. I have to fix this dude. That was a... I wonder if that was the training portion. Alright, what else we got? We got some trash. Two more scrap heaps. So now I can get them without having to call up every time. Got some bolts. I have plenty of that. I'm glad it doesn't actually use any- wait, it does use power. Okay. Can't do anything with that paint. I'm gonna get across there at some point. Okay. Let's save it. Before I do something stupid. And get myself stuck or something. Can I play any of these games? Oh, okay, now I can get this. Alright. Can I climb up? That would be the next... Empty bottle. An empty bottle of cloudy glass. It excels at holding stuff, which probably come in handy for crafting. So now I have to worry about bottles, too. Can I climb? No. Can I hop? No. Oops. Pretty, pretty chill game. Alright, I need to get up. That's only a down, it has a little arrow. This I already spun. There is no jump in this game. Nothing there. If I throw them up there, what does that do for me? They just jump right back down. That's a one-way ticket, too. Oh, there's some trash here. Alright, nothing special there. Here's another... Man, I, I just have a habit of getting stuck in games. It's what I do. It's what I do. Do I have anything extra in the stash? How do I use stash? Alright, now I have full health. Not that it matters, I just wanted to find out how to do that. I have to be able to blow something over. I know there's a tree up top. If I could find a way to get up top, I would be able to cross over by the tree. Wouldn't be difficult. Am I missing something obvious? Oh, 
There it is. Booyah! Only took me 15 minutes to figure that one out. What a problem solver I am. Ooh, I have four saplings now. What's up? You're jealous. Ooh. Bonus! A heart root resin, a rare sap born of the primordial heart root tree. Bursting with magical properties, the sticky substance can be used in the grove of all manner of upgrades and improvements. Let's go. Hey, found my first secret. Okay, so I can do the same thing to trees. I really blow them up. Tin can, empty tin can. This isn't suitable for crafting, but maybe sold for small amounts. Okay, so we have tin cans. Nothing there. Nothing there. I can blow, literally blow the top off trees. What's that, a heart? An apple. Oople. Red, juicy, and delicious, shaped like a heart, but this common fruit provides mild, mild healing benefits. Open up the gate. These, everything's kind of hidden in the background, which is pretty cool. Also makes it very difficult to find. Not very, I'm being exaggerated. So I can, now I can take down this tree, right? No. What was different about that tree? Was it this? No. I'm looking for everything. All right, on to the next stage. Let's go. The Heartlands. That sound reminds me of Zelda. Get him. I helped. Not you, though. You didn't help. These things just give off sprites. Jeez, I'm gonna have thousands of these nuts and bolts. At what point do these guys start leaving me? Because they hate me. Alright, look, look around. What do we got? We got another tree. Now I'm starting to just rapidly pick things up. That one tr one tree I blew up. I'm wondering what kind of tree that was. Ooh, there's Scrap Heap. You made it. Welcome to my camp. Wow, cool. Help yourself with various amenities. The stone stash, the stash box. What did I stone stash? Stash box, the crafting bench, and the tent. Help yourself and pay special heed to the spirit well. Gateway to the spirit link's ethereal home. It allows access to many useful actions. From it can be withdrawn or dismissed spritelings as needed, deciding which to take with you and which to leave in store. Eventually, you also have to new spritelings. From there, among other things. But do not overwhelm yourself all at once. Plenty of time for learning. Heck yeah, I can't wait to check out everything. I am a little overwhelmed. Indeed, but alas, we must now turn our minds to other matters, yet another obstacle hinders us. Throw thy gaze northward, and see that the gate across the way has failed. It appears to be missing a large cog. We'll have to repair it somehow, and we're to make it to the grove, the headquarters of this chapter of the Green Shield Order. Thank you, Scrap Heap. How do I hatch pips? I have no pips. I don't need to stash anything. What was that? 
Oh, all right, scrap you. Fiddlesticks, did the Sprightlings deconstruct that bridge again, mischievous little creatures? Well, feel free to task them by putting it back together. Its pieces should be lying around nearby. So do I collect, do I throw them at the pieces? And they easily rebuild it? All right, cool, so they build. There's a nice stash up top, don't forget that. There we go. Okay, we got a bridge. Help me. Poop fruit. The smelliest natural food in the world, but somehow still edible and nutritious. little guys around. Yeah, this reminds me of Zelda somehow. It's like a precursor. Alright, I have to pick those up. Twingling Pip. Contains a spark of life for Twiggling. Infuse the glit of the nearest sprite wall to hatch the Spriteling. Okay, so now we can hatch the Spritelings. Let's do that. So you use this to hatch Spritelings. Let's go! Wow, look at all those little dudes. Okay, sorry, learn you learn recipes, add it to your recipe list. I don't I don't okay, recipes are over here. I have zero recipes, hence I can't create anything. What is that going to do? Oh, I have to try it. Makeshift flare. A simple ramshackle contraption with a variety of uses. Drop them to the breadcrumb uh, drop them to breadcrumb trail or get a little break from the dark. To create explorer, to creative explorer, the possibilities are endless. Okay. So that was a that was a uh, loose parts, a tin can and loose parts. So what is loose parts of this? Nothing. A fruit what does this do? Simple meal. Taste of plenty of local source deep wood grubs. Can I just use three of these? Yep. Making some simple meal. Again, this is gonna create a flare. Cool, I'm creating creating stuff. Creating it. Oh, there's another hidden. Oh, I was right to let it go. I don't need to talk to you. I know what I'm doing. There's boulders. That's easy to move. There's a trap. There's a gate. Get those. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do not have enough yet to open that gate. Can I like blow through this fence at that? No. That'd be a, a cool way to kind of hack into that. I bet this. I want to see the uh, speed speed run for this already. I'm ready for it. What do we got over here? Oh crap! Get it! Sheesh! Knocked everybody out. Alright, get it!
How's my bag full? What did I do? I hear ya. Give me a second to pick this stuff up. Are you just gonna talk to me about how my bag's full? Pip squash fact number one, the unique plants are more than just the average flora. They are the vessels for which the seeds of young spritelings grow. that over there? How do I get up there? It has to be from around the other side. I think I got everything here. Here's a stump. I'll get you guys in a second. Nothing. I thought you called me. I didn't mean to. Okay, I don't need to hear from you again. Okay. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I can at least I can count carry at least eight here. Can I just make all of them? Ninety? I can. I don't see a reason to. Look at all of them. Look at them! Now I can easily get over here and move this. Alright, I can easily get over here and move this boulder. That'll let me get to the next spot. Thank you. Isn't losing, isn't losing track of some of your Spritlings Oh, so tedious. I swear they just wander off on their own sometimes. Well, if you find yourself too short on time to retrieve them, you can always dismiss idle spritelings at the sprite well. Helpful in a pinch, but be aware that they will return to the wild and leave the field for good. Oh, I gotta watch out. I'm trying to help. I see. He was he was one of the saplings is over here doing all the work. I'm just throwing them. Uh Drop it. Drop it. Thank you. So I have to repair that other one before I can do anything. How do they just fly all over the place? I have to figure out. Let's see. No, not the bag. The bag. All right. Uh. Can I throw? Are they gonna do something about that? They are. No, they won't. Okay. So there's no way to crush that yet. Can I kick it? You want know, to blow through it? I need like like dynamite or something or an explosive of some kind. Oop, that's gonna hit me. Wait for it. Okay. Oh, get them before they kill the saplings! Beastie bits. The leftover innards of an afflicted deep woods creature. While extremely smelly and unsafe for the digestion, they were splendidly, splendidly as an 
alchem alchemical base, so I can make a bomb out of it, I think. They don't want to mess with that, alright. Go pick those up. Can I... Oh, I can. How long do they stay gone for? Okay. Just long enough. That was not enough wood to build that. So where's the rest of the wood? I mean, I feel like I can walk for- oh, here we go. Thank you. Alright, he's gonna put that gear, that's one of the three, in place. You're not gonna get the bag that's just sitting there? Alright, nothing to do there. Ah, what? Wake, how goes your journeys through the woods? You found scrap heap without issue, it seems. Well, I'll be quick, I just want to share a bit of information I remembered. Did you know any wayward spritelings will always be marked on the map? Very useful, probably. So if you're ever wondering where missing Spritelings might be, you've only checked the map. Do I have any wayward Spritelings right now? Does not seem so. I need to create a bomb. This, this. I need something else. Can I, how many Spritelings can I hold? Like... Seems like I just, I mean, there's more! But wait, there's more! Alright, let's, let's put on, put these on hold. See what else I can do here. So now I just need to go up top, blow that down. 20. Alright, I need more. I actually have more. Six more, I guess. Is there an easy way to tell how many I'm currently carrying? 13. I need one more. Alright, so you can hold a total of 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So when this thing says it needs 20, how that's supposed to happen? Hmm. Don't mind if I do. I have two cans. Boom! Breaking it up. Let's go. Okay. I need ten on here. I might, I might have thrown 11. Bring! All 
Alright, that's easy. We're building something, I just don't know what. There's a bridge over there. Alright, I have a heart. Two bottles. I really want to build a... Uh... Nothing over there. Okay. I want to build... A bomb. So I can blow up that rock. That's what I want to do. How do I do that? That was just to get the sticks to build the bridge. Pretty straightforward there. Hmm. I don't want to like move on to the next part. Is that going to bring me? Yes, it is. I don't feel like my work has been done in the first section. So we're going to actually head back if it's easy. An easy load. Go back and save it. And then kind of rummage through what's left of this section here. Because I want to get past that boulder. What do I need to get past that boulder? I think we decided it's a bomb. I need a bomb. If I can make a bomb out of some tin cans, maybe, and some explosives. Let's see. I need 20 for that. Unknown item. Smelly tonic. Releases a powerful stench at the splash site, attracting nearby creatures. Alright. Not really what I was looking for. But cool. Don't want to carry that around. Not an explosive like I thought it would be. Ooh. Saving it. Wipe yourself off. Oh, there's a bag. Hmm. Okay, so I might actually have to go to the next place and come back to make that explosive. 20 of them. I don't have 20. How fast can we blow, blow that up? Thank you. That was easy. Moving this way. And we are going to the next spot. Let's go. I have 15 of them. 15 followers. I needed 20, but they're called Spritelings? I am so bad with names. Alright, I'm just gonna throw... I don't know what they are. Okay, no, they hurt. Can't touch those. I'll take that can. I need the nuts and bolts to create stuff. What does this do? Half Moon Pond just ahead. Danger. Route closed due to blaze blop infestish. infestation. Like, can they actually kill my guys? Oh no, great code help, I killed a monster. 
Be calm, child. They have not died. At least, not in the way you are thinking. Not in the way or I, you or I would perish. Their sprite has simply returned to the forest. <laughs> I saw them explode. This is the way of things in the deep woods. Perhaps you have seen sprightly pips in your explorations. They appear as seeds and grow from the colorful guards found throughout the forest. If you gather the pips and make for the nearest spirit well, you should be able to hatch them back into sproutlings. Spirit well? That's the glowy thing at the camp. We know what the spirit well is. Alright. Well, now I'm down to 14. 13. I killed two of them. Oh no, here's a little guy. Kick him. Alright. I don't know what those are, but they don't look healthy. Still have 14. What is this rock? Can I do something about this rock? Yeah, it takes a while. Ooh, what's gonna come out of this? Something that I can use to make it explosive, I hope. Mesmerite. A highly prized rock salt native to the deep woods. When ground down to a powder, it can be useful for energetic and unstable results in crafting. Sounds like a bomb to me. Crackle candy. Poppy chunks, a puzzling candy that cracks in your mouth. Unfortunately, it looks way too old to be eat, but can be useful in earning a few scrap. Yeah, I can't pass that. That's not what I meant to do. Do I have something I can eat? Nope. I need to unlock more slots. I'll tell you what. I just keep throwing them back in when they get hurt. Oh no, I'm killing them all! Welp. I just killed a bunch. That was bad. Why is my bag always full? I'm down to f eight. Whew. Whoopsies. See if I can create something before I go and pick that up. Like an extra pouch. What is this? Speedy meal. Applies a run speed increase for a short time and restores some hearts. I don't need to carry any of these until I'm at the tent anyway. Now you! I need all of you, and then I need to hatch a bunch more. Because I killed y'all. That just ain't right. My bad. Alright, back to my max. Alright, where was I before I ended up killing them? Do I want to just continue through the gate here? 
I'm like exploring extra territory. Let's just go through the gate. Capital, you've truly mastered the employment of spritelings and features of your device. We can now proceed to the grove. The day has begun to wester, but we should have enough time before nightfall should we not dilly-dally. Speak to me when you're ready and I'll... and we'll be off. Mm, I don't want any more saplings. Let's just explore a little bit more of what's in the other area here. I... I should have continued onward. I mean, if I can get to it, I feel like it gives me an advantage. Right? Maybe I'll learn a new recipe that'll let me uh, gain extra hearts or something early on, and it'll make my life a lot easier. Maybe. Stop getting burned. Stop it. Oh no, this was a dead end. Okay. Squeeze through. Stop it. Sheesh. I guess you can just come back here for, for small parts every single time. All right, let's get out of here. What am I doing down here? This is backwards. No, it's not. It's a shortcut. Let's go. Scrap Heap says, Before we continue onward, I was told that Brussel found you at the edge of the wood. Yeah, I got lost. Well, whenever you were headed, by the look of you, I'd say you seem prepared for a long story. I'm simply curious what would make you run away from a home like you have. How'd you know? I've been around a long, long time, with the years come and intuition of some measure. I don't want to talk about it. Fair enough, but there are things about this place that have not yet revealed to you. If you were, you were to suddenly change your mind, for instance, you may find yourself disappointed. Can we just move on? I thought we weren't supposed to dilly-dally. Very well, are you ready to continue onward? Let's be off. It would appear the events of the day have caused me to forget my payload. I must return for it. Do not despair though, the grove is just up ahead. Follow the path beyond the gate, you cannot miss it. Now, make haste, night will fall soon. Should have kept my... I'm gonna get my flare. Save it first. And grab my flare. Oh, ended up stuck there. All right, need my 15 Spritelings. Uh-oh. Wake, I've made a terrible error. Darkness has fallen. Curses, listen to me very carefully. Scrap heap? Run. Oh man, he just ripped through that guy. Hey, gray coat. He killed one of my spritelings. No, it's 15 there. Hey, you're right, gray coat. I. He could have been killed, and the little ones. Well, scrap people left me. What are you gonna do? It's kind of his fault. I'm just calling it like I see it. What are those things? The dark is bad. Let's be off dangers abound, but I shall guide the rest of the way. We just have a short northbound trek ahead of us until we reach the grove. Come along, come along. Oh, and wake. Welcome to the deep woods. Don't mind if I do. Welcome, Wake. 
Is this where you live? Indeed, the grove is the headquarters of this chapter of the Green Shield Order. Now, I believe you earn more of an explanation. The creatures that attack you are the dark called the Never. Uh, yes. If you had another name, we no longer know it. Probably. It is always here, always around us, but cannot materialize in the light. The dark is bad. The deep woods are ancient, secluded. We're in the world set aside from yours. The deep woods exist as a sanctuary, as a landing for things forgotten, and as a prison. The spreadlings you've so brilliantly taken to your precious, uh, to you, uh, let's start over. The spreadlings you've so brilliantly taken to are precious to us. They are magical in nature, and this place keeps them from your world and perils, perils them. But long ago, the ancients that built this place are also intended as a jail for the never. To keep it from the world, where unchecked, it would run rampant, probably. I love how he has a wooden arm. Definitely got bit off by the nevers. And that's where we come in. The weak green shield is tasked with protecting the spritelings and keeping the never confined to the deep woods at all costs. So, how did I get here then? Something about you? She chose you? She's not known for making mistakes. Now, we can discuss what to do next in the morning. Feel free to introduce yourself to the other green shields here. There are more of you? Of course. There are some currently off in the distant corners of the woods, probably. When your eyes grow heavy, there's a place to rest at the north end of the grove. It's yours for as long as you need it. We will speak again in the morning. Why do I need to sleep? I guess that would it probably heals you. As simple as that. So now we're in the grove. We know how to make some stuff. We know how to use this vacuum. Uh, I can't kick down that door yet. Someone's house. I need a soul shell. And I have everything else. Spritling hearth. Uh, the hearth was once a bustling place of joy. Finding a pack a giant shell to serve as the hearth's main building. Gain access to spritling improvements. Cat lady weirdo. There's a cat lady. There's a cat lady here. Spooked you. What's the smell you've got over there? Litter box. My, my cats. They're gone. Oh no, where did they go? I send them on missions to get stuff in the woods. Her name is Litter Box. They get the stuff and then they come back with the stuff. But sometimes they don't come back and I, I know why. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's because of the smell? It's because of having a tea party. They're having a tea party with the queen. Well, good luck with that. I hope they come back soon. There's a queen. And they're having a tea party. I need... This is water wheel. This old water mill. Recovers the grove's lost water wheel. We gain access to health upgrades, the vice upgrades, and the bag upgrades. So that's first and foremost, maybe even. There's a spritling here that just says, hey... That's my house where I can sleep. Grove Trove, an old camper, loose parts, view information on recovered relics, receive rewards for recovered relics. Nothing there. Okay, so this is a little camp where you're going to build out your base. The central deep woods. And we need to recover some parts so we can build and expand. Now, now, now. Where do we go to build some of these parts? It's easy enough to get this stuff. To get nuts and bolts. This bridge is already made. Here's another one. Crow's Nest Shop. Expand the shop's inventory. Gain access to resource selling. Sell new resources to unlock new stock. I need an iron cauldron. Oh, that's a big dude. Bird hat weirdo. Well, hello there. You must be what all this commotion is for. I guess so. You uh, you have a bird in the top hat. Did you know? Ha. Huh. Why, of course. Her name is Worms. The bird's name is Worms. An account of that being her favorite food. She had another name. I no longer call it. There's a theme here. These people are forgotten people. They don't remember anything. They don't, re they, they don't know their own history. They don't understand why things exist. They're just stuck in here. So, my name is Crow's Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance. That's funny, but I think she's a magpie. Oh, yes, she is very much is. Well spotted. But for some reason, magpies' nest just doesn't have the same cadence. I'm the resident alchemist here. 
Let me know if you need anything regarding uh, tinctures, tonics, and crafting equipment. I closed up shop early tonight with all the hubbub, but stop by tomorrow if you'd like to browse my wares. Will do. Damn, worms seem to be nasty itch. I guess I'll just have to stop pecking at them. Right, worms? Okay, so there is some paper back there. I want to get back there. All right. Oh, hello. I'm, I, can I do that? Get that. Get that paper. They're not going to, are they? That would have been cool. Alright, so it looks like you don't acquire any of this stuff from here. You probably go off to another section to do so. What is that? Oh, my herd's short. I only have 12. I'm missing three. Are they stuck somewhere? Yeah, wayward. Okay. My first opportunity to find some wayward creatures here. Let's see. They're stuck up top. I am missing one, though. Well, let's see if I can recover these dudes. There you go. What are you doing? Expired soda. Very old kind of soda of uh, shock cola. Doesn't fizz at all when shaken and drinking is probably so bad. Maybe some old scrap for it though. What can I can do there? So withdraw, hit up one. I, I just put him back in. There you go. I have 15. Hmm. I think they want me to sleep. So let's do that. Let's sleep until it's morning. And save. Welcome to the deep woods. Uh-oh, another dream. It's gonna be Dad again. Say something. We're so happy then. All of us together. I don't want to watch these. Why are you doing this? Why are you here? Woo! Sheesh! Ah, wake restless dreams. Yes. Yes, well, par for the course in these woods, I'm afraid. I often dream of large vessels tossed about in a storm. As flotsam, I listen to it and growl while it sinks, disappearing beneath the waves. It almost sounds as though it's in pain. Anywho, we have much to do, probably. The day is young and the night is newly vanquished. Let us use the light while we can. I've got another token to spell upon you, one of the precious. But it lies in a jaunt away, wrestling in a solemn thicket. That place is a grave. I'd like to meet me there. I'd like you to meet me there while I hope I'd be able to answer any further questions you might have. And ask of you a tremendous undertaking. Head of the grove, then look for the entrance just to the east. When you're close, you'll begin to come across scatterings of violet foxglove and little stick men adorning the trees. Off you go. Do not delay. You'll find me waiting there at the grave. That's creepy. I mean, you could just take me with you. Who am I to, to argue? So I guess I have to withdraw. So I'm not going to withdraw any, but I'm going to go look at what the alchemist has. He said come back in the morning. Well, today's the day. I need an iron cauldron to do this. All right, what do you got? 
Alright, so he needs an iron cauldron. All he has is... Oopals. All he has is Oopals to start. Can I just continue getting more and more out of this stuff? 1500. Alright. I think I'm gonna save it up. I think that's gonna be it for the day. This is a really cool looking game. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm gonna stop here for the night. Uh, I think it's a good spot so I learned about the deep woods. I learned about the characters. I learned about the fundamental gameplay. Uh, it's really fun. I don't know what the zero out of zero is at the bottom right. I think I'll learn that as we go along, but... Anyway, if, uh, if you guys want to see more of this, you can check out my YouTube. I don't know you, EYE don't know you on YouTube, and uh, I'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by.